the video has gotten millions of views since the person who lives here posted it on social media. He was using chalk to write Black Lives Matter when a couple walking by said that he was doing something illegal. What's your name again? I'm Lisa. Lisa, what's your last name? What is your name? His name is James Jaime Juanilo. He's lived at this home for 18 years running a dog walking business. On Tuesday afternoon, he started stenciling with chalk. My first instinct is, again? This? Again? Well, we're not doing anything illegal. Neither am I. Oh, yes, actually, you are. are actually. Really? Oh, okay, well then, call the cops. Thank you. We will do. Lisa and Robert. Yeah. I'll be right here. And she decided to call men with guns because of my chalk art. Juanilo says he knows many of the police officers in the neighborhood and that they didn't even get out of their car shortly after this video was taken. I'm a person of color in Pacific Heights. This is San Francisco's maybe richest, whitest hood. Multiple people have identified the woman in the video as Lisa Alexander, who's the CEO of a skincare line called La Face. We reached out to her multiple times but got no response. And that, people, is why black lives matter. Juanilo says he's a proud gay Filipino who knows what discrimination feels like. So this isn't the first time I've experienced fear, maybe even a little bit of loathing that just kind of creeps out. Birchbox, a makeup distribution service, posted this on its Instagram account, saying it has officially cut ties with La Face and condemns the actions of Lisa Alexander. And you don't know if I live here or if this is my property. We actually do know. I asked Juanilo if he's open to meeting her again. If you want to come to my house and talk to me like an equal, then I will hear what you have to say and I will consider an apology. He had 33 Twitter followers on Monday. Now he's got a platform with more than 10,000. When they see little racist, evidence of little racist jokes or behavior or exclusion, I want them to speak up. I want them to say something. I want them to make a difference. I want them to be true to themselves and not be afraid.